As I was waking up with you this morning once again, I began pondering on what and how my life might have been if we never would have met, God forbid. Matter of fact, I prefer to dwell on reality because we did, and you've been in my corner ever since with the map when I'm lost, chill when I'm ill, massage when I'm tense. So I know you're there for me like I'm here for myself. There's not a doubt in my mind to be persuaded or convinced. And loving you was easy because you're beautiful, designed for and by a God in the flesh, a born teacher. <laughs> I know your face by heart from the first to last feature, but beneath the face value is the infinite depth that keeps you on my mind every step of my life. So growth and development is automatic, truly yours from justice, because I sincerely love the law of really mathematics. At first sight, just a challenge of making me and you work right was unlike any other feelings. No other's been appealing, at least in my eyes. We've been together three quarters of our lives. I can't imagine how it would be without you. Became a plate of my food, all chances of survival would be doubtful. But you became work. There's been a feeling like a knife's being put through my back, and the pain hurts. It makes it harder for you to be kept real with. I can't handle it. All the damage is done to this relationship could have been avoided till I got on some face. Slip shit, it's hard explaining it. I found myself misplacing it. Given minutes, I used to spend days with it. Can't be the thought of you lost over laziness. New plateaus, the only place worth taking it. Vacate with it, escape with it. In due time, you'll be thanking me for making it. Vacate with it, escape with it. In no time, I'll be great with it. That's how it is. I really want to be my 